Hey guys, welcome to another GDAL tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can compute the slope, aspect, and the hill shade of a digital elevation model using GDAL and Python. There are basically two ways to do this. First of all, you could execute a GDAL shell command with a Python script, or you could directly use the GDAL Python API. I will show you both approaches, and let's start by trying to execute a shell command from here. For computing the slope, aspect, hill shade, and a couple of other things, we will need to use the tool gdaldm, and here we need to specify a mode where we indicate what we want to compute, so slope, aspect, hill shade, and so on. Then we need to provide an input raster, which is going to be a digital elevation model, name the output, and put some additional options here if we want. Now let's go back to Python and put together this gdaldm command as we would if we would run it from the command line. So I will create a string, call that cmd, and then of course we need gdaldm, and let's start by computing the slope of our dm, so I will set the mode to slope, then our input raster will be the dem, let me quickly check the working directory, and here you can see my dm is called dm.tiff, so I will put that here. And let's call the output of this first approach to compute the slope, slope1.tiff. Now I will add one additional option, which is going to be compute edges, because otherwise GDAL won't compute a slope for the outermost pixels of our DM and also near missing values if they exist, and then it gets hard to visualize. So I want to make sure that GDAL interpolates some slope values for those missing pixels, and that's why I put compute edges here, but you don't have to. Okay, I'll run this. And now in our variables, we have a string of the gdal shell command for computing the slope of our DEM. All right, now we can use one of two Python modules to execute this command and run it in a subshell. The first option would be to use the OS module, which I've imported up here. With that, we would use the method OS system. And then we simply put our command string in here. And now we can run the Python script. And now if we check the working directory again, we have created a new raster file called slope1.tiff. The second option would be to use the subprocess library. And with that, we could execute a shell command like this. So we need subprocess and then call. And here the input is again our command string, but we need to convert it to a list of strings, which we can do with the function split. And this splits our command string everywhere where we have a blank space. I can just quickly show you the output. So cmd split returns our gdal shell command as a list. Now of course you could directly provide a list up here. I just find it easier to write out the entire command itself and then split it afterwards. Okay, I will comment this out and just call that slope2 so we can compare the results from subprocess and our system. And let's run this again and check the working directory. And now you can see this has worked as well and we have our second slope raster right here. One thing I do want to mention is that here with the subprocess module I use call instead of popen, which is another method of the subprocess module to run a shell command, because I want to wait for this process to finish before I continue with my Python script. Because else if we now open a raster with Python in this script, but we haven't finished computing it yet, we will get an error. All right, now before I show you how to use the GDAL Python API to compute the slope and other terrain attributes, let's first look at the slope rasters that we have calculated already. So I will open our slope raster, call that slope one, and then we need GDAL open and put our slope one.tif file in here. And then to convert this dataset to an array, call that slope one array, we will get a raster band, only have one, so the first one, and read that as an array. If you want more information on how to read and write raster files with GDL and Python, I recommend my video on that because I won't explain too much about that now. I'll just run this. And now we have our slope one array right here. Looks pretty good to me. And we can visualize that using matplotlib, create a new figure, and use plt im show to plot our slope array.
And now here's the plot of our first slope raster. Looks pretty good, I would say. And let's quickly check if we've gotten the same result using the subprocess call method. So uncomment that so we don't have to commute that every time. And I will just change this here to two. So we're now opening the second slope raster that we've computed. And yeah, this looks the same basically. One more thing before we move to the GDAL Python API is I want to show you what happens when we remove compute edges. So uncomment that, run it again. And now we can't see our slope raster anymore. It is there, don't worry, but you see we now have minus 9999 along the edges of our slope raster. And now we could replace them with zero or something or adjust our color bar, but I just find it easier to compute the edges right away. So I'll redo that. Now I know I labeled this video a tutorial on how to use GDAL in Python and just executing a GDAL shell command in a subshell might feel like cheating to some of you. But don't worry, I will now show you how to compute the slope with the GDAL Python library. I just thought I would include this first approach because it might be easier if you are working with GDAL from the command line a lot. And I also like it because you don't have to open a raster in Python or anything. Okay, so the GDAL OGR Python API has a method called DM processing, and this does basically the same thing as GDAL DM, so we will make use of that. Inputs are the destination name, so the name of your output slope raster, a source dataset, which is the DEM, and again, we need to specify whether we want to compute a hill shade, slope, aspect, or any of those things right here. Okay, so let's do just that. I'll create a new dataset of our DEM, so I'll open that with GDAL open. Input is dem.tiff. And now let's create a third slope raster, slope 3. And we do that with the function gdal dem processing. And input is the destination name. I will call that slope 3 this time. Our source dataset is the dem right here. We could even just put the file name, so dem.tiff, in here. Let's compute the slope. And again, I want to interpolate values for the edges. So I will set compute edges to true. Let's run this. And now here we have a new GDAL dataset called slope three. And we also have a third slope raster in our working directory. Let's look at the results. So I'll just copy that. Call that slope three array, and we will read the slope three dataset as an array, and create a figure of our slope three array, just as we did before. And here's the result, which unsurprisingly looks the same as the slope rasters that we've computed before. So you see, computing the slope with GDAL in Python is not that hard. And the great thing is also if you want to compute the aspect or a hill shade of a digital elevation model, you just have to change the processing mode right here or right here. I will just quickly give an example. So I will change that here to aspect, call that aspect.tiff. Again, I want to compute the edges. I will use OS system to run this command. I will not change the variables, but now we're importing the aspect, reading it as an array and plotting it. I will just change the color map. Let's take magma for the aspect. And down here with the GDAL Python API, let's compute the hill shade, set the processing mode to hill shade. Everything else stays the same. Let's just take a gray color map right here. And let's run everything and hope it works out. And it does. So here's our hill shade looking good. And the first figure is the aspect of our DM. Now we are almost done. I just have one more option to compute terrain attributes that I want to show you. And that is by using the library rich DM by Richard Barnes, which I will import like this. And rich DEM is a hydrologic analysis tool that allows you to process DEMs fast. And you can use it, for example, to compute the flow accumulation of your DEM, fill any depressions, and also to compute the slope and aspect.
Rich DEM does depend on GDAL, so you don't have to abstain from using GDAL completely. And to compute the slope using this library, we would first load our digital elevation model like this. Use the function load GDAL. And the input is the dm.tiff file. And this directly loads our dm as an array. And with this array, we can compute different terrain attributes. So for example, the slope, let's call that slope 4. And we'll call rich dm terrain attribute. Input is the dm. And here we need to specify which attribute we want to compute, in this case, the slope. And we want the slope in units of degrees. But you could also get it in units of rise of a run or a percentage. Let's run this. And now we have a new slope array, which we can look at. And here again, this is what it looks like. So a pretty decent slope raster, I would say. Personally, what I like about using rich DM for computing the slope is that I get it directly as an array. So I can continue working with it in Python. And if you then want to export it, you have to call rich DM and save GDAL provide a file name. So for example, slope4.tiff and the array is slope4. Run that. And now we have a fourth slope raster in our working directory. By the way, guys, close your datasets or they won't be properly shown in QGIS. I keep forgetting it, sorry about that. So slope one and slope three are the ones I still have open, I think. Set them to none. Now that is it for this tutorial. I will put the code and also links to RichDM and the GDAL Python API in the description. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for future GDAL and Python stuff that I should cover. Thanks for watching and until next time.